The CDC scrubbed the hepatitis B newborn vaccine recommendations, and this is devastating for multiple reasons. In 1991, the Advisory Committee for Immunization Practices, ACIP, yes, the same ACIP that is scrubbing those vaccine recommendations today, that same organization in 1991 recommended newborn hep B vaccinations. And within 10 years of implementing that recommendation, newborn hep B infections were reduced by 68%. It's an important reminder to know that only half of childhood hep B infections come from mother to child transmission. Hepatitis B can live on surfaces for up to one week. Being vaccinated against hepatitis B prevents chronic liver disease, liver cancer, and death. It is important to know that there has been no new evidence or research to support the removal of childhood hep B vaccination recommendations. And many trusted public health institutions have come out with statements that are not in support of this new guideline. I also want to talk about why hep B vaccination matters from a urology standpoint. In 2025, a meta-analysis was presented at the 2025 American Urologic Association meeting, and it showed that hep B infection was associated with reduced sperm count and reduced sperm motility. A 2022 study showed that hep B infection was associated with an increased risk of kidney stone formation. Most importantly, chronic hepatitis B infection leads to liver cirrhosis and liver disease that causes an increase in estrogen and decrease in testosterone. The decrease in testosterone has many ill effects on the body, particularly for cardiovascular health and musculoskeletal health. The American Association of Pediatrics has deemed the HEPI vaccination safe, no need for delays in vaccination, and no need to check for titers or immunity in between vaccinations. I hope this helps.